What is good, YouTube? Adam over here, a.k.a. Value Bliss. Today, I went garage selling. There was a town-wide garage sale and a lot of garage sales. I haven't seen so much garage sales to date. So I spent about three hours uh, going to all the garage sales and buying stuff to resell online on eBay and C, as well as my antique booth. Actually, most of the stuff I got was is going to go into the antique booth because it's going to be just easy flips. It's going to take it from the car and drive it over to the antique mall and leave it there, price it, and it's going to sell. So, But all the stuff I got, you can also sell online. Let me show you what I bought. Uh, this way you can learn what type of items are good to resell online for some profits. So first item here, I got this uh, teapot with a cozy. So nice bonus. Uh, so this is a Sadler teapot made in England. Uh, these are good teapots. If they have some colors or designs, they have good value. This is just a plain solid color, but it has nice glaze on it. And I only paid $3 for this teapot with the cozy. Uh, I had the same teapot on my antique booth last week where I picked it up in the thrift store, and I sold it for $29. So this is going to go to the antique booth again, and I have the cozy as the bonus, and again, I'm going to ask 29 bucks, and I only paid $3. So that was a nice little item. And next, I have some binoculars with the case, nice leather black case, and these I paid $10 at the garage sale. So all the... Items I'm going to show you today, I got I got them all at the Cara sales this morning. So these are nice vintage binoculars, and check it out. They have the zebra design lenses, and also the focus uh, ring is also zebra design. So zebra means the stripes, and nice metal lever here. To, I think it's also for focusing. Uh, they are Caro Schultz. Uh, so no caps, but has everything else. The rubber is in good shape. Uh, so these are nice binoculars. These ones I'm going to actually list them on the Etsy site. Has the event thing for a tripod. So I paid 10 bucks for these, and I'm going to list them for $69 or more. I have to research them, but I know that at least I can get 69 bucks for these. That was a nice find as well. So next item up, check this out. It's in this original box. The box looks amazing, great condition. So there is also a box for the lens, but it is empty. So there's no lens in there. So it's just the uh, camera body, Nikon F65. Again, it comes in this original box, which is all a bonus for when you're going to sell it. it. It helps to 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 have all the instructions. And the styrofoam, all the original packaging. And here we go. This is the camera here, the camera body. Nikon F65. Also, here is a roll of film, which is good. I might include that with the body. You maybe sell that separately. Um, excellent condition. And I only paid $10 for this body with all these boxes. So that was a great pickup. And in addition to this body, they also threw in a uh, flash. So it was 10 bucks for everything. And let me show you the flash. Uh, it's right here somewhere. Hiding. So it's a Vivitar flash. I, I don't know the value of it, but at least 30 bucks, maybe even more. But it's a pretty nice one. Swivel head. You can move it around. And it's a newer model. Well, not new, but newer than from the 80s. It's like a 90s model. And check out the there's original price tag on the box. It was $169 just for the flash alone. So I got this flash and the camera body for 10 bucks today. So when I was buying the camera, it was starting to rain. So I think that's why the people wanted to get rid of the stuff before the rain comes. So they just were okay with selling it for 10 bucks. Okay, I also got a tracker hat. This is a true tracker hat. It has the Mac Trucks logo on the front. It's like a patch. 
mesh bag still has the tags. I paid one buck for this truck for this hat and I'm gonna sell this for twenty five bucks on eBay. Okay, this is a great find. This is like a a lamp with the adjustment arm. It's vintage. Still ha it has the vintage plug. It's made in Canada. The brand name is Ledoux. Made in Canada. I paid one dollar for this lamp. So all I have to do is just unscrew this from this wooden piece. This wooden piece is going to be a uh, junk. But this la these lamps. Online they sell for 90 bucks. I only paid one dollar, and it's gonna, I'm gonna probably I'm gonna put it in the antique booth and price it a little bit less. Uh, price it at about 60 bucks, but for a buck can't go wrong. So be on the lookout for these vintage lights. Very good find. And you can also find them in thrift stores as well. Okay, here I got a very common item. It's a viewfinder vintage one, Belka light. Uh, there was a price on it, 20 bucks, but this was like an older price. I think the lady that was selling was old lady. She probably was an antique dealer before, and she had a garage full of old stuff. So I got this viewfinder for her for 10 bucks, and I'm going to flip it on Etsy for 30 Okay, here is a nice garage sale find. Check this out. It's a wooden box. And it's a nice set of silver plate uh, cutlery. This is a setting for eight, so it's a, there are 64 pieces. Uh, they were asking 25. I got them down to 20 dollars. I paid 20 bucks for this set. Uh, it's a community silverware, silver plate. Uh, the value for this set is around 60 bucks online, 60 to 80 dollars. I only paid 20 bucks. This should sell quickly. So another piece here, it's a vintage clock, and it's a wind-up clock. That's why I got it. It winds up, and the lady said it works. It's made in West Germany, and it was priced at 10 but I was able to buy this uh, for 5 bucks. So this clock is going to go in the antique booth for a quick flip of $30. So I'm going to sell this for 30 and right after I'm doing the video, I'm going to drive up to the antique booth and put all most of the stuff in there and leave it there because it's a weekend night now, so people are shopping, so I'm hoping to sell most of the stuff quickly. Okay, here is a barometer, very nice one, big one, God, it's big, has the temperature here and the humidity measure, and this is a tailor made in Japan. And I got this because it's nice condition. Price was two bucks. I didn't bargain, so I paid two dollars for this. And I'm gonna sell that for twenty to twenty-five bucks at the antique booth. I got a hat brand tractor. I got this for free, so that's why I got it. And I got a nice decoy duck for five bucks. It has some wear and on it some. Uh, Cuffs and stuff, but it doesn't matter. People collect them in their garage, and these sell quickly in the antique booth. And I sell these uh, for thirty dollars, so from five dollars to thirty bucks, six times the money. Great, great buy. Okay, moving on. It's a vintage toaster, Sunbeam uh, Radiant Control. Vintage. Check out this plug. It's for the fifties or sixties. That's how you know it's vintage. Has the model number? It's uh, I'm gonna read that to you. T41, and there is some models are better than the others, but for two bucks I couldn't pass this up. I'm gonna get at least thirty dollars, but even they can sell for up to eighty dollars if you have the right model number. So for a buck, two bucks actually, I, I pay for it two. So still for two bucks, it was a great pickup. And here is a board game, hold them or poly. So it's a Monopoly, but has the poker Texas Hold'em theme. Uh, it's all complete. The lady said it's all complete in there. Uh, Texas Hold'em, Hold'emopoly. So any type of Monopoly theme games are good to pick up for a good price. Uh, they were asking five, but they accepted four dollars for me for this game, and I'm gonna put that in the antique booth uh, for about twenty-five to twenty-nine dollars. So 
that's it was also a great find but i'm still getting to the better finds uh check this guys i so this is a vintage uh painters or artist easel so it opens up folds out has a I think has a, a drawer here. Uh, all wood. It's not too heavy, so you can even take it and be like a portable easel. I paid ten bucks for this. I won't even open it up. Uh, the guy said it's all there. Everything's there. It's just maybe a little bit wonky. But I'm just gonna put this in the antique booth and put the price tag on this of fifty dollars for a quick flip, five times the money. Easel, great find. I'm loving garage sales. So here is uh, the, I love finding, this is my favorite find on the garage sales. When I find these things, the garage sales, it makes my day. So Polaroid, original bag, that's a bonus. And the guy said it's like a brand new Polaroid. So it's a Polaroid camera. It has the manual, owner's manual. I don't think it's brand new, but it does look to be in a very good uh, condition. So I cannot sell it as brand new because there's no box. And these green Polaroids, they go for less money than the other ones, but still Q4 is coming. And this one will bring me at least $30. You, um, in Canadian, this is made in United Kingdom, and it's all clean. And having the bag with this and the manual will definitely help and maybe even increase the value. So I might be able to get up to 40 bucks because of the extras. So I got my price this at $40. And this is going to go into my Etsy shop. So five bucks into 40, that's eight times your money. So great, great investment, Polaroids, awesome. Uh, moving on, this is something unique. I never bought this before. It's pretty heavy. So this is a boat anchor. Actually it has a 15 pounds on the, more 50 pounds. So I paid $10 for this. And this is gonna go in the antique booth, and I do some. I have to do some research how much they go for, but I'm thinking at least I can get 40 bucks out of this anchor, or even maybe 50. So cool piece, and somebody, somebody probably is gonna buy it to use this anchor. It won't be a decoration piece, but you never know. Some restaurant might buy it for the Nautico theme, or some people collect Nautico items. So this is original boat anchor. Got it for 10. Price was 15, but I got them down to 10 bucks. And this is gonna go on the antique booth for forty to fifty dollars. Okay, moving on. Here I also bought today this uh record player. And it's all that the needle the needle is there. The guy, the old man, he was like an old man selling it, said it all works. It's a realistic model L A B tw two nine zero. The only problem is with the hinges at the back for the cover, which is not a big deal. Uh, it's made in Japan, so that's a good thing. And it also includes the original owner's manual. Um, so this uh, record player I paid $10 for, and this is going to go into the antique booth, and I'm going to price it at 50 bucks. So again, five times the money. Great, great finds. Check this out. It's a, from the 90s uh, Panasonic boombox. It's a power blaster, and it was priced at $5. So it has the cassette tape player right here on the top, and on the bottom it has it has the CD CD player right here. Sorry, you can see that. And the, the the person selling it said it all works. And made in Malaysia. Still a nice piece, five bucks. And I looked it up on eBay. There is two listed, and from say, fifty to seventy dollars. So I'm gonna list that on eBay for fifty bucks plus shipping. Only five dollar investment. This should sell as well. Pretty cool piece. And here. Might be the find of the day. I have to research this racket. So it's uh, just the only problem is, is look how dirty the cover is. But this is just dirt it will come off with some wet cloth. Uh, so it's a Prince racket. 
and I got it at a gas sale this morning for five bucks. Check out the rocket. Very nice, colorful uh, graphics on it. Thunder Extreme Titanium. Pretty cool, and there is an original price tag on the handle. And it says 230 bucks. So this racket was for $230 new. Uh, so I, I know this is a good racket, not some cheap uh, Walmart stuff. So I paid only 5 bucks for this. Uh, I think I can flip this on eBay for about 80 to $90. But I will have to research exactly what is the value of this. But this was an amazing find, and this should sell rather quickly. Okay, and a few more items. Here I have a pretty cool vintage metal gas can. This is like a, for a Jeep or a, some truck off-roading. Uh, this is going to go in the antique booth again. has some rust spots on it, but it could be a cool, de cool decoration item. Uh, I paid $10 for this gas can, and I'm going to sell it for 40 bucks. And the last item I want to show you is one of the largest items. Look at this. So it's just a pair of banners, and they're huge. And they came on the stick, too. Uh, so, oh, well, there we go. I don't think I can even show you the whole thing. It's so big. Uh, so they are about 8 feet, 8 feet tall by, like, 2 and a half feet wide. And the date on them going to lift them from the bottom up uh, so there was some so it's from the Hong Kong festival festival Hong Kong 1992 let me show you so how can we do this because the very bottom has the markings and it also has some kind of signature Festival Hong Kong 92, huge A feet banner, and has some kind of signature here. So that might be something. So I paid 20 bucks for those banners together with the stick, and I think they're going to stay together, and I'm going to put them in the antique booth. Uh, I'm going to price them at ninety nine dollars for the for the whole set and they're gonna take up a lot of space on my wall in the antique booth but hopefully they're gonna sell quick. But they're gonna also add some uniqueness to the booth and some nice design features. Alright, so that's all the items I I got today at the garage sales. It was amazing morning. Oh actually sorry uh, and there is one more thing and this was the very first pickup of the day. So let me tell you how much I spent today. So I spent around 160 bucks at all for all the stuff I got to this morning. And the first garage sale I pulled up to, I saw this bag, and it's full of uh, printer ink, unopened printer ink, and it's all HP, has different numbers, and it's expired 2013, 2015, uh, 2015 color one, but there, most of them are black. Uh, so there is, so I paid, I paid 10 bucks for all the all the zinc. They were asking back each, but the lady said if I'm gonna take them all, it's 10 dollars for the bag. So inside, there is 14 inks in there, and I sell these expired HP inks for about 20 bucks a piece. So this is $280 just in this bag, first garage sale. So all my money back from all the items I got. So that was an amazing find. And those inks, they're going to go on eBay. And they sell out pretty quickly too. Last time I listed expired inks, I had like five, uh, five uh, quality. And they sold the next day. All of them sold out for 25 bucks each. So thank you for watching. This is my garage sale haul. Uh, I hope you learned something new and enjoyed the video. Make sure to destroy the like button, hit it like 10 times, and subscribe to my channel. I'm looking for new subscribers because I always bring you new content 
and items that you can learn uh, how what sells online for good profit that you can find in garage sales and thrift stores. Have a good one. I am out. Cheers.